Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Nathan's 3D Factory. In this episode, what we're going to do is that we're going to put some spikes on the faces of this object. So I did a subdivision level 2 cube on this scene, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these spikes so that they line up with the normals on here. So first I'm going to go into geometry nodes, I'll make a new node setup. Okay, so let's zoom out. We're going to have this so that it aligns with all those faces. First, what we need to do is we do a join geometry node. And then that way, we can keep the original stuff right here, and we can also have some more stuff that we're going to add to it. So next, we're going to do a two points node. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to control where these points are going to be coming from. And so, go ahead and we'll put it down there. And then I'm going to add that so that it's joined up. Now you'll notice that we have points that are on the vertices right here. So, like I say, we don't want to have these on the vertices. We're going to put these so that instead, we're going to put them not on the edges, which I just did. That was very silly, but we're going to put it on faces, okay? So, on the faces, we have this set up. So you can see that it's in the middle of each face. Next, we're going to do an instance on points node. Okay. All right. And now you'll notice that all of our points have disappeared. And that's going to make room for our instance, and we're going to do a mesh cone to make our spikes. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice that all of them are facing up in the Z direction. And we want to change that to get them all to face outward. So we have a few steps to do for that. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go out from this rotation node. Okay, I'm going to pull out from there. And so I'll go over to my rotation on my instance on points. Now I'm going to do a line Euler to vector. And then, now that I have that situated, I'm going to change it back to the Z axis on there so that every instance Z is going to be uh, the one that's going to be pointing outward. But they're still pointing upward in the Z direction and we want to fix that. So one thing that I had done originally was that I would said, okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to do the rotation node on this or the normal node on this. And then we need to plug it into the vector. But as you can see, that is not going like that, is it? So we need to pull that over and we're gonna add another node. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add capture attribute. And then we're gonna put it in this spot right in front of the geometry that gets it to the points. And then what it's going to do is it's going to act as a bypass. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this normal node into this socket right here. Okay. Now, we're going to change it so that it goes to a vector input so that it has three coordinates and then it is also going to have faces that we're going to affect. We don't want vertices, we don't want edges, we want faces. Last, we're going to plug it into the vector node. And right off the bat, you can see that they stick out and they align right to the vectors as we want them. So, pretty cool, isn't it? So this is what I wanted to show you, how to do spikes on the geometry. And so, it's really cool stuff that you can do with this. So, um, so I hope that uh, this helps you if you've had any questions on how to align these. I hope you like, subscribe, and that you comment on this, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thanks a lot, guys.